Hi guys and welcome to another review. Today we are looking at the Aspire Atlantis V2 combined with the Vapresso C-Cell Ceramic Coils. Now before I go too nuts over the Vapresso coils, which I am actually in love with at the moment, we're going to just go quickly over the tank. The Atlantis has become pretty much synonymous with, well, not advanced advanced is the wrong word it sounds douchey but when you're moving on to the bigger tank bigger devices lower resistance coils this tank is able to cope with pretty much anything you can throw at it flavors good cloud production's good there's a decent amount of air as well due to the fact that you have this quite large bottom opening with both sides giving you a decent airflow from beneath and also at the top here just under the drip tip you've also got a secondary airflow which will allow you to cool down those quite hot vapes that you get off the 0.2 and lower resistance coils now this does come with a 0.2 stainless steel I think coil which is best vape sort of around the 90 watt to 100 watt mark now I found it in this particular tank with this device to be incredibly hot I didn't enjoy that even with both air flows open so I actually had to go down to 50 or 60 watts to find a comfortable spot where the vapor wasn't too hot however one thing should be said this thing chucks clouds like it's going out of fashion so if that's your thing then you can go down with the lower resistance vapes now one problem that uh, some people may or may not find a problem I certainly didn't after I got used to it it's the size of this enormous enormous drip tip it's huge it's not like say for example the sub tank which gives you like a cigarette sized drip tip like 510 this is like double if not triple the size it's enormous and it allows you to get a massive amount of vapor in that said, after a little while, you will get used to it, and I actually really enjoy using it. But it is probably more likened to a cigar than it is a potential, like uh, than it is a cigarette, which you might think is a more natural thing to actually vape on. Give it a little bit of time, you'll get used to it. You can change them as well. There is this rumor that's been going around for, since, for like a year now since this thing was released that you can't change it you can buy an adapter which will allow you to use a 510 sort of standard drip tip in there and if that's your thing then fine but just remember this thing is chucking out a lot of cloud you're going to get a lot of it one way or the other so um i would suggest just getting used to it but one of the downsides is the fact that it's smooth i really hate smooth drip tips so for the next one hopefully they'll do what kanga did and just give it these little ridges makes it much easier to clean doesn't collect so much crap okay so with that out of the way because i want to get on really to the vapresso coils these ceramic coils are the greatest thing i've found in vaping so far now my career in vaping is short it's about three months now which is good i've been off the cigarettes for three months but I've uh, I found very shortly after I started that I was more about flavor than I was clouds. And these things deliver all the flavor, all of it. The juice I've actually got in here is Traitor by Captain's Reserve. It's an amazingly well-made layered juice that will give you baked apple to start with into toffee and a slight like, hint of fruit at the end as well, although none of it's overpowering. The best part of it, however, is the way that you can break it down into its different flavors, and these coils allow you to do that perfectly. Now, whilst using a standard coil that's cotton-wicked is fine, you are going to notice that um, it, it's somewhat subdued because it's going into the cotton. The cotton actually tastes of something thing it may not necessarily taste bad to you but it will taste of something with these ceramic coils there is no additional flavor other than the juice so you're tasting exactly what the manufacturer wanted you to taste so by taking on that additional flavor you're actually able to break down the actual components of a juice and really taste through the whole way of your vape so from the start on the inhale to the exhale you're going to get the breakdown of the different flavor components and that is something that I really really love I vape because I find it relaxing in the evening and obviously it's feeding my nicotine habit but at the same time I really want to taste the best juices out there and this one although it isn't a fantastically made juice when I tried it in my in my Kanga sub tank I was getting a nice flavor but it was somewhat muted after I tried it in this and I really discovered where flavor can come from in these particular devices 
Now, the way the ceramic coils work, which will probably go over a little bit of science, although I'm not going to go too deep, is that you have in this one a 0.9 resistance canthal coil baked in to a porous ceramic. So the ceramic wicks in the actual juice instead of cotton. It then releases the flavor purely after it heats, and that's what you get. It doesn't actually do too badly on clouds either. For a 0.9 coil, that's pretty decent. It's certainly satisfactory when you're someone like me who's chasing flavor over clouds. There is a 0.2 ohm version of this coil available. Uh, it's only temperature controlled, however, so your device is going to have to be able to cope with that. That said, however, I found these 0.9s to be a perfect balance between being able to vape them at a reasonably low wattage, so it stays fairly cool, whilst also giving me an amazing amount of true flavor and decent cloud at the same time. Anyway, I've found that these have just transformed my vaping. Whilst I love my Kanga and the sub tank, this thing is the only device co tank coil combo I've found that I don't want to change. When it comes to my evening vape, I can relax with this, taste the full effect of everything and get decent clouds and just enjoy my vaping in the evening. It's not just this juice either. I've tried it with some other ones as well. Uh, the Toffee Caramel from Witchy Liquid, which is the best toffee flavor available in my opinion. That comes through in so much deeper a fashion when done through the ceramic coils as opposed to on the stainless steel in my Kanga. So to sum up, this is a revelation in my vaping. The tank itself holds enough juice for an evening. In fact, it holds it nearly for enough for a day for most people. It's got good airflow. It's got a good airy vape. It's not too hot. And combined with these f coils that I have in there, I'm getting the best flavor and just the best enjoyment out of my vaping experience. This alone would be a reason, if you have a favorite juice, to just take it to the next step and really enjoy vaping for what it should be, which is not only a way to get off of smoking, but a really nice way to relax in the evening. So anyway, I hope you found this quick review helpful. This has been the Aspire Atlantis V2 combined with the Vapresso 0.9 coils. One thing I will say before I go is that they claim they don't spit if you chain vape this it will spit so I don't know why they said it because it's not true aside from that though everything else spot on amazing flavor cheers and goodbye